everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you just the one tip for tomorrow's racing where we'll be focusing on the action at Doncaster. Now before I get into that quickly just want to reflect on how our selections performed today. In the end it was a very frustrating day, disappointing as none of our selections could live up to their expectations. The next best of the day the Great White Shark never really got into it, it was quite a slowly run race uh, in the Gormoy hurdle, you know, it was quite a stacked field and I just don't think that suited her at all. So I'm tempted to uh, forgive her there. So yeah, that was frustrating as she was very well uh, fancied. She was short uh, at one point I saw at 13 to 8. So the market did think that she had a big chance. So yeah, that was frustrating there. Discordantly, who was my nap in the Thiestes? Unseated Robbie Power at uh, the second fence. So we never really got to see how his race would have unfolded. So yeah, that was frustrating there because I really did fancy him to go uh, well in that race. But yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. And then our long shot of the day, Taboo Beach Boy, there was serious money for it. We put him up at 16 to 1 each way last night and in the end went off at 9 to 4 favourite. I thought, hello, we found one here, you know, we were sitting on a nice price. But in the end, just couldn't uh, couldn't live live, uh, live up to it in the race. Uh, was very disappointing and finished back in the midfield. And yeah, just wasn't good enough. No excuses when he had every chance. So yeah, that was very frustrating there. But yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. On the whole, it's been a good week this week. It's been our only uh, down day. And to be fair, in the last couple of weeks, our form has really turned around in January. We got off to the first couple of weeks uh, really poorly. You know, we didn't really have many winners. But the last couple of weeks, we have turned it around. And I'm pleased to say that we are in profit for January and I think we'll end that way as well. So hopefully we can uh, find some winners towards the end of the month. And like I said, I've just got the one tip uh, at Doncaster tomorrow. I didn't really fancy too much, to be honest with you. I thought it was quite a tricky day's uh, racing, but the one I'm going to be giving you, I really do fancy to go well. And that runs in the 237 at uh, Doncaster in the feature listed juvenile fillies race. And I thought Megan here for Kieran Gethins and Stuart Evans was quite a nice price. Currently available at the time recording with Bet365 at 6-1, to one, and I'm going to recommend a one-point win bet. Now, this horse won on her British Hurdles debut uh, as so Leicester quite nicely that day, beat Nick Kent's horse and also as well Fergal O'Brien, who are both going to be lining up here tomorrow quite comprehensively that day. But then she uh, failed to uh, deliver upon market expectations at Aintree when she was made a favourite for the listed juvenile fillies race there. She was 5-4 favourite that day and very well fancied. You know, but in the end, she just couldn't. Uh, she just couldn't land a blow. However, um, at that time, I know that Stuart Edmonds' horses weren't running quite up to form. I know that they had a problem in their yard, but I know uh, from a source close to the yard that uh, it has been rectified now. And you can see from some of their results in the last couple of weeks, their horses have been running a lot better. They had. They've only had one winner. But a lot of their horses have been running uh, well and they've had quite a few seconds of late. I know they had a second at facing them today and they also had a fourth place horse which ran cred creditably. So their horses are just starting to turn around now and I think Megan hopefully will be in a better place tomorrow because I know they really do think a lot of this horse. Also as well, Stuart, uh, Stuart Edmonds does really well with his mares. He's had the likes of Maria's Benefit down the years, Queen of Hearts as well, who's a horse I really fell in love with a couple of years ago. And then she returned after a really long absence to win at Haydock uh, back in December. So he does really well uh, with his mares. And like I said, I know they hold this Megan in uh, quite high, high regard. But to be fair, that run at Aintree wasn't uh, that bad because uh, she actually finished third behind uh, Sean Curran's horse, uh, talking about you, who's actually going to be giving us uh, five pounds tomorrow. So that's another handy thing. Also, as well, um, talking about you went on to win her next start at Taunton, and I know she uh, is clear of our horse on official ratings, but our horse hasn't had another chance to run. And I do think um, that uh, our, our horse Megan can improve and can be of that ability. So I think there's lots to like about her chance tomorrow. For me, progressive. Yes, yeah, she won on uh, debut at Doncaster and she could improve, but I wasn't that taken with her. And yeah, some of the others at the top of the bet, and I'm not keen on their chances as well. So I thought Megan tomorrow at 6-1 to one represented quite a uh, good value. And with the yard now in a better place, I thought 6-1, to one, like I said there, is a, is a good price uh, for this horse. So this horse is going to be my nap of the day tomorrow. And fingers crossed we can get a winning nap. So yeah, like I said, just the one tip for tomorrow's racing. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments box below what you fancy. I know you guys always fancy loads. 
from the amount I see in the comments. So yeah, let me know what you fancy in the comments box below and uh, hopefully we can have a good day. So yeah, that's all I've got to say. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe here to my YouTube channel at Lucky Loads 15 if you haven't done so already. Also as well, if you want to follow me on social media, the best place to do so is on Twitter, where my handle is at Lucky Loader 15. And if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, my website is www.chrisloaderracing.co.uk. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have a winner tomorrow and we'll be seeing you soon.